Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Tiana Holisky, and I make fashion and lifestyle videos. So currently I'm doing Utober, and I love it, I'm making lots of content for you guys, so what Utober is if you guys have not been keeping up, or if this is the first video you guys have seen, I'm doing a new video every day of the month of October, and it's been a lot, but I'm loving it, it's a lot of work, but... I really enjoy making content for you guys, and if you guys enjoy seeing content from me, be sure to subscribe as well as like this video and comment down below. We haven't even, I haven't even told you what this video is yet. So since Halloween is quickly approaching, I thought I would rate my old Halloween costumes with you guys. So I've had some really good Halloween costumes over the years, especially when I was younger and my mom would pick out my Halloween costumes. I got a little weird for a couple of years there, so my Halloween costumes definitely weren't that good. Um, so we're going to go through them and rate them together. Uh, comment down below what your favorite Halloween costume was of mine, and let me know what I should be this year because it's coming close and I still don't know what I'm going to be. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so we're going to start at the very beginning of my Halloween experiences, I guess. So I was 11 months old, my first Halloween because my birthday's in November, um, and literally this is probably the best Halloween costume I've ever had, or worn, so we may as well just end the video here. <laughs> no, seriously, but this is my Halloween costume for my first Halloween, I was a ladybug, and fun fact that I did not know until about 20 minutes ago, but my mom actually made this costume for me, and it's so adorable, like, these pictures are just so cute. Um, so this this is definitely like a 10 out of 10 Halloween costume like there's no getting better than this like this is so cute and custom made and everything so it's just the perfect costume all right so moving on to my second Halloween which is when I was almost two I was Piglet um, from Winnie the Pooh if you guys don't know and if you're too young to know that's stressful for me um, this Halloween costume is also so cute. My mom painted my nose pink to look like a pig's nose. Sorry, I'm looking at it on my phone. And I just love this costume. It's also really warm, which is great because I live in Canada. So it gets really cold on Halloween. Like most years it snows, which hopefully it doesn't this year. Um, so this Halloween costume is just perfect all around. 10 out of 10 again. I love it. It's so cute. And pink is definitely still to this day my favorite color. So Piglet was a 10 out of 10 as well. Alright, so year three, I was Barney. I love this costume, but like the face I'm making looks like I don't love it. Um, I was a big Barney fan growing up, as I'm sure lots of people my age were. Um, this costume was great. I don't, it's definitely not as good as the last two, so I'd say it's about an 8 out of 10. Maybe 9 out of 10. Let's give it a 9 out of 10. Give my mom some props. This is a good costume still because, especially at the time, this was like a pivotal costume, I feel. Alright, so moving along, this fourth Halloween costume I'm going to share with you definitely was one of my personal favorites growing up because it was Scooby-Doo, and you guys probably don't know this about me, but Scooby-Doo was like my life. Like, I loved Scooby-Doo, I had Scooby-Doo bedding, Scooby-Doo wallpaper, Scooby-Doo dolls, toys, everything, every movie that ever came out, every book that ever was existed for Scooby-Doo, I owned. I loved Scooby-Doo, so this was like, I loved this costume. This was so good. This was definitely like a 10 out of 10, because it might not be the best quality of costume, but the story behind it and how meaningful it is to me and my upbringing, 10 out of 10. Alright, so moving along, this is year 5, so I was... Four. So I was in kindergarten this year, so it was my first year of school, and I was obsessed with pr Disney princesses. Like, I was obsessed with Scooby, but then I was also in love with Disney. Like, we watched every single Disney movie, like, every single day. Love it. Definitely one of my favorite Disney princess movies was The Little Mermaid, so I was Ariel for Halloween. And like I said, I lived in Canada, so we had to wear, like, turtlenecks underneath their costumes. So this was great because my mom made this bra and sewn it onto the turtleneck, and it was a nice beige turtleneck. So maybe this is where my turtleneck obsession started, but this costume was so good. I love it. Definitely like a 9 out of 10 for that costume. Great costume. 
the wig was very very atrocious though but let's give it an 8 out of 10 you know it was not like the best costume but but I give it props because my mom also made the tail so yeah we'll say 8 out of 10 all right so next costume was another Disney costume I was J Princess Jasmine love this costume this is so perfect so we yeah again we watch a lot of Disney movies love love every Disney character and I think this is kind of where my love for crop tops started was way back when I was like six um as you can see I'm wearing a crop top to school so I was in grade one um so Princess Jasmine obviously wears like a bra and some beautiful pants and I loved it um yeah this is a great costume 9 out of 10 for this one in my opinion there's no it was store bought which is fine but appropriation all right, so moving along to my next Halloween costume. I've lost count of how many Halloween costumes I've gone through. So the next one, I was a pirate. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean was huge this year. That's why I was a pirate. I loved it. It was a little bit too scary for me, but I still loved the Pirates of the Caribbean. So I was a pirate. This costume was great. I believe my grandma, it was from my grandma's costume collection. She was like big into costume design and stuff which probably is where my love for fashion came from, of designing. Um, I have a very creative family, so that's definitely where I came from. Um, this pirate costume, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Not original, not anything too special, but still a great costume, so 7 out of 10. Alright, so moving along to the next year, I was Hermione Granger. I loved Harry Potter growing up. I was obsessed I was obsessed with Daniel Radcliffe. I don't know why, but I was obsessed with him. Um, Harry Potter movies loved. They're super popular. This era, I don't know, 2004 maybe this was. Loved it. Great costume. Again, 7 out of 10. Not very original. It was just like a white button up, which I haven't changed too much. And then just a cloak from Hogwarts. So yeah, 7 out of 10. All right, next is a little bit creepy. Especially if I wore this back in 2016, would have been scary. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you've already guessed what I was. So, in this Halloween year, I was a clown. And it wasn't supposed to be a scary clown, but it's scary. Like, that hair is absolutely terrifying. Um, but it's still a good costume. Clowns are very, like, traditional, easy to go use. Um, everybody is always a clown. I feel like everyone's been a clown once in their life for Halloween. So I'll give this one a 6 out of 10. So now it's time for the decline, like mega decline in my Halloween costumes. Because this is when I started to have way more independence. I was about 10, I think. I should have like kept letting my mom pick my Halloween costumes because it just got really bad, like really bad. Um, so here is my costume for grade 5. It's terrible. Like, I found this mask at a costume store and I was like, yep, that's what it's gonna be this year. So, yeah, no words can really describe how terrible this one is. And I remember vividly, I got dressed way too soon, like, before everybody else did. Because we are gonna have our lunch, like, our big group lunch, which, now with COVID, that would never happen. But we had, like, a potluck, basically, every year for Halloween. And I remember everyone was, like, going to eat first and then get dressed, but I was like so excited about this mask that I went and got dressed first and I just, you know that like scene in Mean Girls when she shows up like in a not, the S word, I don't know how appropriate I had to be on YouTube, that <laughs> she shows up in her like scary bride costume, that was me, like everyone else looked cute and they're like butterfly or whatever costumes and I showed up in this mask, <laughs> so this was like negative 2 out of 10 like this was just or let's keep it 1 to 10 we'll give it a 2 out of 10 because it gets worse be warned so grade 6 was another one that I chose and made myself this time so I, me and a group of friends went as um, runaway bridesmaids and then the one girl was the bride I don't really know the whole uh, thought process behind this or why we thought this was a good idea but this was my costume I took like, I think it was my mom's old grad dress or prom dress and I just destroyed it. And then I decided to spray paint my hair black with like, it was for hair but it was like a spray can bottle where it just goes dark. 
and literally it took me two hours to wash it out of my hair the next day or that night it was really bad and this year it was a really fun Halloween because we went all through every house in my town which there's it's a really small town but there's a lot of houses and we had like maybe three um pillowcase full of candy maybe four it was a really long night of like stopping everywhere and it was kind of scary once it got dark but this costume is 0 out of 10 just terrible but wait it gets worse grade 7 I don't know why I thought I was one of the boys I guess like I want to be cool like wasn't cool so <laughs> grade 7 I was Peter Griffin I spent like $40 on this mask stupid so stupid thinking that I'd look cool and then my sister had this fat suit from the year before because she was like a tourist and it was it was a good co hers was a good costume but I put this like two small white button-up shirt on and the fat suit kind of just like stuck out because it was basically like hula hoop oh this was probably the worst this was a low point for me so this is grade seven yeah grade seven just yeah, this gets negative points. This is negative 7 out of 10. Like, it's so bad. Like, sorry if my, sorry future kids, when you're in grade 7 and you want to be Peter Griffin for Halloween, you won't be Peter Griffin. Anyways, let's move on to some better Halloween costumes, because it does get better from here on out. So, this year my mom helped me with my costumes again. This is when I started to appreciate all she does for me. So, grade 8, I was a Smurf because a new Smurfs movie had just come out and we found these really cute hats on Amazon because Amazon started to come out Ooh. and yeah this is a great costume we just wear leggings and long sleeve shirt with some like t-shirts Smurf graphic tees and then with our little Smurf hats and we painted little blue circles on our face this was a cute outfit a uh, cute Halloween costume I'll give it a 5 out of 10 not too much work went into it but for grade 8 it was a good costume went with some friends it was fun had pizza Went trick-or-treating again because we weren't too old, but we weren't too young that we could stay up late and go trick-or-treating. So Smurf was a, what did I say, 5 out of 10? 6 out of 10. 5 out of 10. That's final answer, 5 out of 10. Alright, so grade 9, I found my love for fashion, like my outfits, were terrifying because I was looking back at old scrapbooks and my outfits and they're questionable, but the love for fashion was there. So I decided to hand cut out letters for me and my friends and make them into superheroes onto these black t-shirts this took me so long to do because i hand stitched each of the letters on i wish i knew what i knew now but we were um superheroes we just wore tights t-shirts and a cape with our letters on them in animal print i'm not too sure where, what we were thinking but it was cute it was a fun little like group halloween costume this is when we started to get too old for Halloween, um, like trick or treating, but we started partying a little bit, like not, nothing crazy. Um, but this was a fun Halloween costume. I'd give this one a 5 out of 10 as well. Not too much work went into it, but it was fun to do with some friends. Alright, so grade 10's costume was probably the best costume from middle years to high school and once I graduated, or even from that on out this was just like the best costume for the past 10 years I would say because my mom made it um this is when we got full on like mom just take care of my Halloween costume because the past few years were very bad um this year I wanted to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle so I got a group of four friends together and this is what they ended up like they weren't too slutty uh, because I saw lots of girls wearing like being Ninja Turtles but they were very very inappropriate so this is a very appropriate version of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I love that we were using like turkey pans as our shells. Very creative. All props to my mom. Like this was like, this was a 10 out of 10, honestly. No, let's go 9 out of 10. It's not too crazy. It's not like ladybug cute. 9 out of 10, this costume it was great. Definitely, definitely the best costume for the past 10 years. All right, so grade 11, this was a time in my life. Um, I was a cheerleader, here I was here, because we didn't have cheerleading at school and I wanted to be a cheerleader because like that's main character stuff there. Um, so I decided for Halloween I'd be a cheerleader because the high school team, or the high school football team had a big football game that day so I was like oh cool like I'll be like 
my Halloween costume costume will be cheerleader, but then I'll also be showing school spirit. So this is my Halloween costume. This was expensive. I bought this cheerleading uniform from a different school, like probably somewhere in the States because Canada doesn't really have cheerleaders. I hand, like I rip stitched, stitch ripped the letters off and then I went and got custom made lions across it. So it was a lot of work. But this one was a good costume. I really like this one. This is a 9 out of 10 as well. This was all me this year, which was the only good costume that I've ever made by myself. So, 9 out of 10. Alright, moving on to grade 12. This one was one that I made as well. Um, inappropriate. Very inappropriate for school. I know, like, we got talked to a couple times. Um, so don't wear this if you're still in high school. Uh, but we, me and a group of friends, were cards. So, yeah, this is a good costume, though. It was cute. It was fun. Um, this, I'd give an 8 out of 10. Mm, let's give 7 out of 10 because it was very inappropriate and not that much work went into it. Moving on to another really great one, in my opinion. This was a very popular costume a couple years ago. I was Sandy from Greece. This costume was super easy for me to put together because I already owned most of the pieces. I just had to buy these, like, red shoes. So I was, this is my first year of college. I love this outfit. I, Grease is one of my favorite movies, so this was a great costume. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10, because it's not very original, but it's still a great costume, and I still had my blonde hair there, so perfect. So in 20, so that last one was in 2016. 2017, I did not dress up. Uh, 2018, I did, and I was a couple's costume with my boyfriend, Cole. So he's a soccer player. So I was a soccer player and he was a ref, it was a very last minute costume idea, like we did day of and then we went out for a, like a, just a beer at a pub. Um, so this was a cute costume, but I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Not very original, not very creative or anything, so sorry Cole, but this costume is 6 out of 10. And then last year I was nothing, so that completes my Halloween costumes for the past 22 years. Um, I'm not sure what I'm being this year, so be sure to comment down below what you guys think I should be. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel because, like I said, I'm doing Utober, so a new video every day of the month of October. That's all I have for you guys today, so have a great day, guys!